I have reviewed a lot of robot vacuums, at least 30 in the course of my career as a tech reviewer. For that reason, I get asked a lot about my favorites. So I sat down and I thought about it and I took a look at which ones had scored the best in my tests. But not only that, which ones I actually enjoy using, like to look at, and maybe even still have running here in my home. Plus, I also picked one that I think is the best balance of features and a lower price. Of course, full and detailed reviews are available both on the blog at techgadgetsinternational.com and here on the YouTube channel if you want more info on any of them. Let's get right to it. These are my top five favorite floor cleaning robots in reverse order. At number five, meet the Yeedy Cube. A top five list is never complete without a budget pick, and the Yeedy Cube easily slides into this category. Yeedy Cube boasts a high suction power of 4,300 pascals, and after putting it through my usual mess tests, the Cube passed in all the key areas from vacuuming up pet hair to cleaning spills like sugar, flour, oatmeal, and even larger cracker pieces. Yeedy Cube takes a different approach to mopping with a single mopping pad that rapidly vibrates to create a scrubbing action. Yeedy also added the ability to adjust the water flow, which is a great cleaning feature. Plus, if you want a base station that's not an eyesore, Yeedy Cube is easily the choice here. Think of the Yeedy Cube as the jack-of-all-trades robot vacuum. I don't think you can find a cheaper alternative that matches all of the Yeedy Cube's combination of useful specs and really cool features. Want to go a bit deeper? Check out the full review of Yeedy Cube here on the channel and at techgadgetsinternational.com. If you don't mind doing the mopping yourself, you can go for a powerful bot vac that keeps its specialization to the vacuuming only, and this one is ideal for fully carpeted spaces. The iRobot S9 Plus is a really good investment. When it comes to cleaning, the iRobot S9 Plus uses wide rollers on the underside plus corner brushes for really effective cleaning. The iRobot S9 Plus uses a squared off front design, which helps a lot with corner and edge cleaning. Of course, when it's done, the S9 Plus will empty its dustbin back into the base station. I've been using this robot vacuum for years here in my fully carpeted basement and studio. I have it on a schedule where it vacuums three times a week when we're usually out dog walking and it does a really great job of keeping the whole floor area free of things like dust and pet hair. The iRobot S9 Plus might seem stuck in the past because it has no mopping functions, but you do get a more compact cleaning base and the robot can focus on its job of better vacuuming. The bonus of this one being an older model, it is often on sale too. To get into the details or see the full review of the iRobot S9 Plus, you can check it out here on the channel and at techgadgetsinternational.com. The Ecovax DBot T20 Omni is the vacuum to get if you have a really busy household, since the 6,000 pascal suction power really makes a difference when sucking up dirt trapped inside carpet fibers. When it comes to mopping, the T20 is really good at that too, because the vacuum's Osmo Turbo Rotating Mopping System can use downward pressure to power off stains and spills. More pressure means better scrubbing and scouring those stubborn stains. This bot will vacuum and mop both carpet and floors, but it goes well beyond that. The all-in-one Omni station is more than just a recharging base. It's where your bot will empty its onboard dustbin, refill its mopping tank, then wash and dry its mops with hot air and warm water, then do away with the dirty water. I think this is a fantastic robot floor cleaner. Its biggest downside may be its large base station, but at least Ecovax decided to do its best to make it nice to look at. It's not a budget bot per se, but the T20 also deserves to be in my top five list because it is often on offer for a lower price. You can check out my full review of the Ecovax DBot T20 Omni here on the channel, yes, and at techgadgetsinternational.com. Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is truly a standout for its amazing features. The caveat is this dual-purpose vacuum and mop does come with a higher price tag. Naturally, it will empty its onboard dustbin into a sealed bag after it goes out to clean, but it also washes and dries its mop to avoid musty odors. It has advanced object recognition and hazard detection, which should mean it's well able to avoid getting caught on everything from socks to cords, rug tassels, and even curtains. With a vibrating flat mopping pad that's washable, it can help scrub dirt from your floors too. The setup is easy, the design has been improved to be a little nicer looking and more streamlined, and the S8 is great at avoiding obstacles and hazards. So what are the downsides? 
Well, primarily that the base takes up a lot of floor real estate and some owners may find it challenging to place it. But overall, if you want a dual purpose robot vacuum and mop with all the basics and a host of special features too, and a bot that can clean and maintain itself, I can definitely recommend the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra. I really enjoyed my experience with the S8 Pro Ultra, and I think that if you've got the budget for this one, you're not going to be disappointed. And by now, you know where to get more information on that robot. If you're willing to spend top dollar on a floor cleaning bot and you don't mind a bigger docking station, then head straight to the Ecovax X2 Omni because it is my number one pick. As a vacuum, the X2 Omni handled all the messes I laid out from finer flour to grit and even cracker crumbs. Whenever the bot detects carpet, the suction power of about 5,000 pascals ramps up and you can hear how much harder it's working. Plus, it uses a built-in camera to detect bigger messes and devour them. As a mop, the X2 uses dual spinning pads to scrub off dried spills on hard floors while lifting the mopping pads off of carpets. The docking station has a large clean water tank to help handle washing up larger homes, and with the all-in-one maintenance, it's refilled, dustbin emptied, and the mop pads are washed and dried with warm water and hot air to kill any musty odors. There's all kinds of other reasons to love this device. The dual roller brushes help to beat that junk out of carpet and rugs. The new shape is really effective at edge and corner cleaning. And the built-in voice assistant can even figure out where you are in the home and come right to you for a clean. Now, by now, you'll be able to say it along with me. You can find my full review of the Ecovacs D-Bot X2 Omni right here on the channel and at techgadgetsinternational.com. Those are my top five robot vacuum choices for you to consider. And for what it's worth, while Ecovax and Yeedy have sponsored posts with me in the past, they are not sponsoring this one. I chose all the bots on this list because I genuinely like them, believe in them, and I've found that they are all the best at what they do. I'd love to hear if you agree or disagree with my picks or which one of these you might be leaning towards and why. Share your thoughts down in the comments. And don't forget to check out my full up reviews of our top contenders right now.